Scientists have found a new species of dinosaur that lived around 70 million years ago that slept a lot like today's birds. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and at this point, if you follow me for long enough, you know that birds are dinosaurs. Birds are a type of theropod dinosaur, a group of dinosaurs that included the largest of prehistoric predators like Tyrannosaurus rex, Spinosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and those guys, all the way to the tiny little raptor dinosaurs like Velociraptor. Specifically, birds belong to the Paravian group of dinosaurs, which also include dromaeosaurs like Velociraptor and Truodontids. As a group, birds evolved pretty quickly after the dinosaurs first really gained dominance across the world, appearing in the Jurassic period around 150 to 160 million years ago, and they persisted all the way up until today. And birds sleep in a very unique position that's known as a tuck-in sleep pose, which is where they tuck their heads between either their feathers on their back or underneath their wing with their legs uh, folded up underneath them. Alongside birds, we also have unique fossils of truodontids that also have this similar pose with their tail wrapped around their bodies, their head tucked back under their arm, and they're curled up very similarly to birds. Now this isn't to say that we have a lot of specimens of dinosaurs outside of birds that are in this sleeping position. We only have a couple specimens from a couple species of truodontids, specifically May Long and Sign Authorities. But we can also use this to assume that it's likely that the dromaeosaurs, like Velociraptor, probably slept in a similar manner because they are very closely related to both the Druidontids and the modern birds. Now the reason why this sleeping pose is very rare is because the animal has to be sleeping when it's buried or killed, and most animals are not really killed while they're sleeping, and when it comes to theropods fossilizing, we usually find them in what's called the death pose, which is that sprawled out position with their head thrown back, like this one. But this new fossil belongs to a group of dinosaurs that are closely related to the Paravians, but it's not a Paravian dinosaur itself. This new species of dinosaur has been given the name of Jesulinicus yaurai, and it belongs to a group of dinosaurs called the Alverosaurids. Alverosaurids are a part of the subgroup of theropods known as the Manoraptorans, which are birds and non-avian dinosaurs more closely related to birds than Ornithomimus. But Alver Pterosaurids are still more distantly related to birds than the Truodontids and the Dromaeosaurids, which is why they are not part of the Paravian dinosaur group. But that's what makes this new specimen of Jesulinicus interesting, because it was found in this sleeping pose, just like the couple specimens of Truodontids that we have, and how birds still sleep today. This suggests that bird-like behaviors, including how they slept, was a lot more widespread among dinosaurs than we previously thought, and that it appeared earlier in the fossil record than we originally thought it did. It's also just another piece of concrete evidence that shows that birds are, in fact, dinosaurs. 